Hey everybody, we are going to talk about trapezoids today. I'm gonna to make this quick. Um, so this is what your paper, we're gonna do three pages today. Um, I'm probably gonna be hopping around a little bit, so um, follow along. So we have two types of triangles. We have non isos we have non-isosceles and isosceles triangles. I mean trapezoids, sorry. Non-isosceles trapezoids, they only have one pair of opposite sides that are parallel and consecutive angles between the parallel lines are supplementary. So we know those are consecutive interior angles, which those are 180 as well. Isosceles trapezoids are where we have um, the same properties as non-isosceles, where they have one pair of opposite, opposite sides and then those consecutive angles are supplementary, but they also have non-parallel side legs that are congruent. So if you can see here, um, the this line well, let me write in this one. Like this line and this line are congruent to each other. Diagonals are congruent and base angles are congruent and opposite angles are supplementary. So those are just some things that we need to remember when we're doing these problems. So for number one, this is a non-isosceles trapezoid. So we have to remember that those consecutive angles are supplementary. So if you know this one is 87, to find this one we would do to find angle M, we would do 180 minus 87 to get 93. And then for K, we would do 180 minus 51 to get 129, okay? Um, here again, we have um, non-isosceles, so we just complete the same thing that we did. Um, to find angle C, it would be 180 minus 31, which is 149, and 180 minus 62, which is 118. So doing algebra with these problems, um, if you look, here are the parallel lines. These two are um, supplementary, so 54 plus 8x plus 6 is equal to 180. When we solve, we get 8x is equal to 120, x is equal to 15. So the same thing over here, we have... Um, consecutive interior angles. So if we add 12 and 7, we get 19x and 3 minus 13 is negative 10 is equal to 180. 19x is equal to 190. x is equal to 10. Find the measure of angle R. 7 times 10 minus 13 is 57 degrees. Okay. These are isosceles trapezoids, so now we have to use the, fat, the other properties that we were told. Um, so we have DG is going to be congruent to EF, and DF is congruent to GE. Opposite those um, lines here are congruent, and the diagonals are also congruent. So over here, angle T is congruent to angle V, Oop, I'm sorry, opposite. Yeah, angle V, sorry, I was looking at my answer key, my answer key is wrong. And angle W and angle U are the same. Let me just make sure. Opposite, op, opposite base angles are congruent, sorry. So my answer key was right, base angles. So when it says um, T and U, those are base, and W and, oh, I'm sorry, and U and W. Um, here we have, um, bleh, I'm trying to think of the words, um, consecutive interior. So for angle S, I'm going to find first, cause I know that P is 112. So that means S is going to be 180 minus 112, which is 68. Um, base angles are congruent. So that means S and R are the same. And then if you do again, knowing that this is 68 and these two are supplementary, this is going to lead you to the same thing. Over here, I'm going to find angle Y first. 47, 180 minus 47 gets us 133. Base angles are the same, so the base one um, is W and X, so those are 47, and angle C, Z is 133. Okay? Coming over here, I'm going to be jumping around here a little bit just so we can get this done. Um, we have an isosceles trapezoid. We know MP, NO, PN, and MO. We need to solve for X and Y. So we know that MP 
and NO are the same. So 16X minus 13 is equal to 9X plus 8. Um, we got 7X is equal to 21, X is equal to 3. Then we know diagonals, so PN and MO are congruent, so 5Y plus 19 is equal to 12Y minus 37. We get 7Y is equal to 56, so Y is equal to 8. For over here, base angles are equal, so 2X plus 27 is equal to 5X minus 12. 3x is equal to 39, x is equal to 13. So when we plug this in to 2 times 13 plus 27, um, we get angle D to be 53, which means that also C is 53. Then to find A and B, we just do 180 minus 53, and 127 is both of those angles. Um, isosceles trapezoid for this one, ooh, sorry. Um, consecutive angles are supplementary, so 4x, so these two angles is equal to 180. And I'm confident that you guys could um, then solve that one. Um, so for this one, this one's a little bit different. Opposite angles um, are supplementary. So we would do 16x plus 4 is equal to 180. If you think of the fact of this angle and this angle are the same, so they're equal, then you can say x and y then are supplementary, so they're 180. 16x is equal to 176, x is equal to 11. And then plugging it in, you guys can do that. We know that these angles are equal. Solve for x, we're good there. And then the same thing for this one. Um, you have to remember that these angles here, the base angles, and when we say base, it doesn't matter because just like this trapezoid is upside down, um, we're learning that the two angles that are on the same parallel line are the same. So these two angles are equal and then therefore t and u are supplementary so 3x plus 1 plus 14x minus 25 is equal to 180 and then you can solve that and solve for x last set of notes for today is um, triangle mid segment so triangle mid segment talks about that if there is a line that is in the middle of this trapezoid like ef then we say that AB is parallel to EF, which is parallel to DC. And we can also find the length of EF. The length of EF can be found by adding the bait, like AB plus DC and then dividing it by two. Okay, so we're gonna use um, the trape trapezoid above to answer the following questions. So we need to find the length of EF. So what we need to do is we need to add 14 plus 16, I mean 14 plus 26, and divide it by 2. So we get 40 divided by 2, which is equal to 20. Same thing here, 7 plus 31 is equal to 38, divided by 2, and we get 19. Now we got to do kind of the opposite of it. We're told EF is 22, and we need to find what AB is. So if we remember AB plus DC divided by 2, 44 is equal to X plus 38. Subtract by 38, we get X is equal to 6. And the same thing here, 47 is equal to 41 plus X over 2. We get 94 is equal to 41 plus X. Subtract, X is equal to 53. Last three problems are just dealing with a little bit of algebra now. Set up this problem the same way. Um, we know that this middle line, 5x minus 19, is equal to the top and bottom divided by 2. Multiply, both, multiply this side by 2, 10x minus 19 times 2 is 38 is equal to x plus 52. 
9x is equal to 90, x is equal to 10. Then we just plug it in for yz, so 50 minus 19 is 31. Okay, last two, 20, ooh, gosh, I hate it when it moves on me. 25 is equal to 2x plus 11 plus 6x minus 1 all over 2. Multiply it, so 50 is equal to 8x plus 10. And then we get 8x is equal to 40, x is equal to 5. Find kj, plug in, 30 minus 1 is 29. And the last one, 8x minus 3 is equal to x plus 7 plus 6x plus 5 over 2. So we get 9x is equal to 9x oh, is equal to 18, x is equal to 2. Plug it in for uv. So 18, I mean 8 times 2 minus 3 is oh, 13. And we're done. So I hope this helped you figure out um, the notes about trapezoids.